As a young person, certain investments are non-negotiable if you must live your dream life. Before you turn 30, you must have made certain preparations for a more rewarding future. I know you look forward to traveling around the world someday, owning a Lamborghini or probably a cruise ship, having chains of companies in your name and many other fancy dreams. But have you asked yourself what you must do to make your dreams come true? How much sacrifice are you willing to make to become financially independent? Or are you comfortable just living with little or nothing? Today, you have some cash. Tomorrow, you're totally broke and wondering where the next meal will come from. Watch this video to figure out 10 investments to make before you're 30. 1. Invest in yourself. Well, I'm sure you didn't see that one coming. But come to think of it, you are all you've really got. No one is going to take a chance on you unless you first take a chance on yourself. So yes, the first investment to make is in yourself. Go and master a new skill. Don't just learn it, practice it, become best at it, starting from your local community. Some of your best recommendations are going to come from people who know you, so give them what to talk about. Read beyond your areas of interest. Smart is the new rich. Companies pay heavily to keep their most versatile staff. Be the one everyone meets to hear your thoughts on something. Trust me, it won't be long before the promotion comes knocking or job referrals visit. Expose yourself to diverse cultures, people groups, concepts, and whatever new but legal and safe thing you come across. This can help you become better with people management and hence your communication skill. 2. Invest in ETFs This is also a type of investment a person can make. ETFs are pools of funds that hold assets such as bonds and stocks and sometimes commodities, like gold. It is traded on the stock exchange all day long. Having investment in ETFs may actually be more diversified than actual funds because of the wide range of things that can be invested in with ETFs. As a long-term investment, ETFs are good. Start now that you're young so that you can enjoy long-term returns. The goal should be to invest as strategically as possible so that if one asset class is performing poorly, others can make up for it. If you want to be rich, start investing on time. Keep some money aside every month and start. Even if you don't earn enough savings for a whole year so that you can have something substantial to start with, they sometimes have high minimum investment. If this is the case, save up until you have the money. You should, however, not take a loan to invest. It doesn't make sense. Loans attract interest rates. If you start repaying the loans with the returns, you would ultimately be left with the original amount which you have already repaid. It doesn't make sense. Number 3. Have your own apartment. There is nothing as annoying as your interests and pursuits being regulated by the people accommodating you. As an adult, most times, the people around you may never really understand your business goals or nature of the job or the necessary sacrifices you must make in order to succeed. When you leave your own, you take responsibility for your rent, your food, utilities, and tax. It toughens you up. People who live with their parents in their 20s are usually protected from most of the world's challenges. Once you leave home, you start to see the world for what it really is. No one will wake you up by 5 a.m. to catch the boss. If you don't wake up, you bear the consequences. Silly habits like binge-watching movies will slowly fade once you live alone. You take full control of your finances, you will start to seek more avenues to earn money and thereby improve your income. Number 4. Pursue a business venture Business is one way to invest. When you invest in your business, it grows over time. If you don't give it time, it may not yield the type of profit you desire. Every good thing takes time. Time is very important. Invest monthly and grow at your pace. You may not always have extra cash, but it should be a financial priority if you have a business. Once your business becomes profitable, you can enjoy the benefits of your labor. Choose your business venture wisely. Don't choose a business because other people are doing it. If you do that, you may regret. Number 5. A Retirement Plan Start to think about your retirement on time. You can have a savings account specifically for your retirement. How much would you want that you feel will make you retire? Is it something intentional? No one can decide for you. Set a target and start working towards it. Start a side hustle if you can afford the time. You need cash. The more cash you have, the better for you. Set a close target and work as though your life depends on it, because it does. No one deserves to be in a financial bondage. Paying debts in perpetuity can rob you of the little joy you have left in you. Joy really counts a lot. People who pass through hardship get by because of this joy. When it completely goes, you're an empty husk. You will feel like you're a slave to the debt and that you can never have anything for yourself. To avoid these situations, manage your finances properly. Don't take loans you don't need. Number 6. Insurance All your properties should be insured. 
Insurance can protect you if an unforeseen accident occurs. You are taking a big risk if you don't insure your assets. You can wake up in the morning and be reduced to poverty by fire that way. Work very hard to insure them comprehensively. You can insure your cars, your buildings, and even your life. If you meet an untimely demise, your family can actually get a huge settlement. This shouldn't be taken for granted. Life is fleeting. Young people usually don't write wills because they don't think it's time. But you can at least insure yourself, just in case anything happens. Number 7. Acquiring Assets You need a lot of assets to break out of poverty. Salaries are good streams of income, but they are tied to other people. They are outside of your control. If you get fired today, that stream stops. If you have an asset, even if you get fired, your asset will continue to generate capital. It makes a lot of sense that you should have one. Also, remove the limit to how much you can earn. If you're able to get your asset to generate more money, your income increases. It is easier to manage your asset to generate wealth for you than it is to get a promotion. Because with promotions, hard work is not the only consideration. Number 8. Upset Debts If you owe anyone, pay them off. You need your peace, and debtors usually don't have peace of mind. Worrying about debts can actually lead to a lot of stress. Stress is not good for productivity. If you're stressed out, you can churn out substandard work. Buy only things you need. A lot of people spend once they have money, but that is a poor approach to financial management. Writing a list of preparing a budget is a better way to go about it. Number 9. Invest in quality relationships. If you have friends that share your ideals, invest your time and resources in them. As you do this, you're building a community of millionaires. It is very important that you try buying things you usually buy from your friends, if they sell it. It helps their business and helps them feel supported in their endeavor. You will be amazed by the type of support you will get when you decide to undertake a project as well. Keep your friends close. Everyone needs friends. Number 10. Real Estate This is one of the most lucrative assets to invest in. Land appreciates in different areas of the US. If you own properties in different places, it increases the odds that your own will appreciate as well. It is, however, unwise to buy only real estate for several reasons. One is that it is very capital intensive to buy, and another is that it is difficult to liquidate. If you are a businessman running an enterprise, you need a lot of cash for day-to-day -day running. You can't really afford to have all your money tied to some properties.